What's going on guys, it's Unknown Player here and today I'm going to be showing you guys all of the kill streaks in Advanced Warfare and uh, by that I don't just mean the amount that we saw in the current build, the game that I've played and recorded at Gamescom, I also have information on streaks that haven't yet been announced but will be in the game. So I might have the full kill streak list for Advanced Warfare multiplayer and it's a more complete and expanded list than the one we have from the Gamescom build. I haven't seen this list posted or talked about anywhere else, if you guys appreciate me giving you guys this information first, definitely give this video a thumbs up like great, I'd massively appreciate that and uh, it's basically all the streaks that will be in the final game minus a few which I'll talk about in a second now this isn't leaked information isn't me speculating or guessing this is a new score streak list that was flashed on screen for a brief second during the reveal event I'm assuming everyone missed it with the amount of information that we were getting all at once there was literally so much to process uh, like they flash up little bits of information and it's easy to miss this stuff and uh, but I was actually sat front row watching this event and saw this list and I watched back the streams try and find it and they actually showed it for a split second and uh, just for reference here is a full list of all the kill streaks or score streaks whatever you call them that we have so far in the current build of the game so that's what you'll see around the internet everywhere else and uh, here is the full list that they showed off at the actual reveal and this is what you're seeing right here this more complete list with a lot more streaks and this is very much more representative of what we'll get in the final game as you can see it's from a side angle from one of the stream cameras but it's the only image of the full score streak list that we have so far on the internet pretty much and uh, also another screen there is the same list right here of the same 12 kill streaks you can see right here and uh, in just a second I'm going to be going through all the streaks or their customization modules but uh, it's possible I think that there might be a few more streaks to come I'm not 100% sure on this this could be the final list that you're seeing right here or there could be a few more I say this because the hardwired perk which is in the game mentions immunity to the EMP which could be referring to EMP grenades but I think it's possible there could also be an EMP streak it also mentions the immunity to the system hack which is on this list I've showing you guys and it also mentions the nano swarm which is very interesting this is very likely to be the thing we saw in the induction mission the huge kind of swarm of uh, drones flying around together and uh, to me that really sounds like it might be a kill streak so it's possible we'll have to see if there are a few more to come but as for now this is a very very representative list of the final kill streaks for advanced warfare so if you don't know already every streak can now be massively customized to your liking so uh, these things are called modules i'm going to be going through those in a second too and uh, i played the game and got lots of screenshots of all the modules in all the streaks of the build so far so three customization modules for each streak and uh, one of them has four the turret has four for some reason it's got one extra but in the final game we can actually expect anywhere from five to eight customization modules for each streak and i've got some screenshots of those as well so most streaks you can have three but i've also got seven or eight modules of some of the streaks which we saw on stream so let's jump into them first off we have at uh, 400 points we've got the uav this is a basic standard streak and uh, obviously it's good to see this back this is literally providing radar for you and your team and uh, what you can kind of expect from this is a bunch of things with the customization modules you can expect uh, the first one for 150 points extra assist points this gives you more points with your kill streaks and uh, basically like, rewarding you for benefiting your team and your scrambler which actually blocks the enemy's radar which is very interesting and it kind of obscures their minimap for an extra 200 points and your extra time literally makes it last longer uh, extra speed makes the sweeping go faster enemy direction for an extra 200 which adds arrows instead of the dots on the radar you'll see people's arrows so you can see the direction which is really cool it's basically the advanced uav from call of duty modern warfare 3 and we've got threat detection which for an extra 10 seconds shows people through walls which is very cool that's an extra 300 points and this stuff can get expensive then you've got orbital we don't actually have a description for this but i can assume what it means is that instead of the uav actually flying around the map like it normally is and you can shoot it down it's actually gonna be an orbital uav so it's up in space and you can't shoot this down so for an extra 300 points you get a uav that cannot be shot down which is really really cool and then finally you have something very interesting which is support this basically means it's a support kill streak so when you die it doesn't reset similar to the support streaks in Modern Warfare 3 and ghost uh, when you die it doesn't get reset and you also might notice on some of the streaks in gameplay you've got these little arrows this basically means it's a support version of the streak they've got the support module so when they die the actual score won't be reset you can literally just keep on going so uh, that's kind of like a subtle way that support kill streaks are back in advanced warfare but it's optional and it's in a very very cool cool way because obviously you have to pay the penalty of an extra 300 points so instead of the uav costing your normal 400 points it's now going to cost 700 points but you can get it guaranteed because when you die it's not going to get reset then we're going to move on to the next streak which is the aerial recon drone this is also 400 points now quick note you can now use streaks that are at the same streak level so if you've got the uav and the aerial recon drone both on at 400 points when you get those four kills or 400 points you're going to get both at the same time so no longer do you have to choose between two streaks that are the same value you can set them both which is really really cool so the aerial recon drone we don't know anything about it i really have no idea what it might be it seems similar to the uav but maybe you guys can suggest 
what it might possibly mean, what it does, but it seems to be a very, very low streak anyway. Then you've got Orbital Care Package. This is the new care package in Advanced Warfare. Very, very cool. And uh, the modules are double tap, so you can now double tap it to uh, get pretty much re-roll it and get another streak. Better odds, which increases the value of it. It's more likely to get higher in streak. And also support, which I talked about earlier. And uh, then you've got something else which is very interesting. You've got the Aerial Assault Drone. This appears to be something like the Vulture. It's probably going to fly around and kind of shoot people. Then you've got the system hack at 600 points. This appears to be some sort of EMP streak, but I'm imagining it will probably be for exosuits. So I'm imagining what this does is for 30 seconds, it disables all the enemy exosuits. You can't jump around, you can't boost, you can't do those kind of things. I'm imagining that's what it is, and uh, we'll have to find out exactly what it does in detail. Then we have the remote turret. This is a very interesting one, and uh, you can actually add lots of modules to this. So you can see the rocket tower right here. Instead of shooting a minigun, it will shoot rockets, direct energy. It shoots a laser beam instead of a minigun or rockets and uh, rippable which michael condry talks about in the reveal you can actually take the turret head off and walk around with it which is crazy and uh, michael condry demonstrated how you can have both rippable and rocket turrets so if it's an extra 200 points you can rip the head off and shoot rockets out of this turret in your hands which is crazy and, uh, and then we have sentry which allows it to basically be controlled by ar so it's a normal sentry gun it'll control itself you can control it if you want to but if you hop out of it it's going to control itself which is very very cool and uh, the addition ones we got from the stream 360 turret head i'm assuming this means the turret can now turn in 360 degrees and not just kind of like a 180 angle uh, heavy resistance which looks like it has resistance to grenades and explosives and the support again when you die the streaks won't be reset so that is all very very cool stuff about the turret kill streak and, uh, and then moving on we've got the uh, vulcan this is a very cool streak it's literally a laser beam from space that shoots down uh, you can increase the beam width you can also add three rotating lasers so more kind of a range and you can also add another burst when you do this you get one huge laser burst that you saw at the very end of the reveal trailer and you can get the option of shooting two instead of one next up we have the missile strike at 600 points we don't actually have any, any information on the customization of this and uh, but we do know we saw it in the reveal trailer it's literally like the hellstorm missile you shoot it down and it shoots a huge spray of missiles i'm assuming the upgrades will be along the lines of uh, maybe a bigger blast radio shoots more missiles probably comes down fast because the thing that's take a very long time as you can see here it takes a long time to come down to the ground so you can probably upgrade that and uh, you can probably put support or something like that on it as well but i'm not too sure on what kind of streets you can put support on because i'll be surprised to see if all of the streets can be support uh, kind of enabled and that'll be a very very strange thing then you've got bombing run we do have a bit of information about this streak it's essentially a jet that will come down and do some airstrikes and guns and people down you got additional bomber which instead of one jet it's going to be two you got flares which means when you shoot stinger at it it will deflect it uh, you got care packages i'm assuming this means that it will drop a care package for you which is cool and uh, then you've got stealth which probably means that you can't see it on the mini map which is cool Got to kind of like hide it and make sure people can't see it and can't shoot it down so that's cool as well and uh, then we go into the high streaks we have the warbird this is a very very cool streak and uh, it's for 800 points and the additional modules you can do is rockets so you can shoot rockets as well as a minigun aggressor which means you can also have an ai controlled warbird which basically controls itself and uh, then you can have warbird wingman which allows a cooperative player on your team to go in and join with you and he can shoot as well and join in the fun which is really cool i really like the idea of cooperative uh, score streaks which kind of like your teammates can hop in and uh, gun people down as well it's a really cool idea i think and uh, then moving on we can see the goliath one of my personal favorites this is a very cool streak and uh, you can see recon uh, this is exo ping so you can see people near you trophy which deflects explosives people try to shoot you at and uh, homing rockets which is a mounted rocket on your shoulder that will gun people down and then finally we have the highest streak currently in advanced warfare this is the paladin a completely menacing looking streak it's based the giant gunship that orbits the map you can shoot it down you can shoot at it and uh, the streaks for this are you can add a turret laser that shoots down you can also add a 105 millimeter cannon and also a wingman someone else can join you and uh, so that is just about it these are all the streaks in advanced warfare an expanded list in addition to the ones you've already seen hopefully you enjoyed this in-depth look at all the kill streaks i could find it took a while to gather all of these resources and kind of bring them to you guys so if you enjoyed the video give it a like rating i'd appreciate that and if you want to stay up to date with all the advanced warfare news i'm going to be uploading loads of videos so make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on those videos but i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys later